What's going on people, it's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to bold, italicize, and underline text in an email sent through Excel VBA. So let's get right into it. So say at this point you've already got your code written up for your email, and you're just trying to figure out how to use HTML to um, change the actual format of your text. So what I have here is a code uh, for a simple email that's, that gets sent out. What we have for the body of uh, the email is hello, and then it references this cell here, 21. So it's going to say, hello, China has the largest population in the world, and then best regards, Greg. And um, let's go ahead and run that. So we can see the email here. It's being sent out to any abc.com. Um, the subject is country population. And then we have our body style with 12 point font Arial. We've got hello with a pa uh, paragraph break. And then we've got China, which references this cell here and has the largest population in the world. And then we've got another paragraph break. And then we have a line break here after best regards. So if you want to bold any of the words, let's go ahead and try to bold China. But first, let's see what happens if we change the format in the cell itself. So let me go ahead and bold, underline, and italicize China here. And if I run it, you see nothing will happen. China still remains the same. So unfortunately, you can't change the text and expect it to actually push that out when you have your email. You're going to have to use HTML to change it yourself. So let's go ahead and bold China. So all we'll have to do is after hello, we can put a B here for China. Uh, sorry, B for bold. We can put it there, or we can put it, well, that's probably the best place to put it. Let's put it right there. So that's where the bold will start, and then we'll have the bold end right before has. So in order to break a bold, you'll just do the slash and then another B. So let's run it again. So you see now China's bold here. All right, so let's keep going. So if you want to italicize uh, largest, I'll just go ahead and put an I, and then we'll have to end it. run it again and you see largest is now italicized if we were to not end the bold or the italicized and just for we say we forgot to do that let's see what happens when we do that we'll run it now you see everything's bold starting at this point so starting after hello everything's bold now because we never ended it and then starting at largest, starting right before largest, everything is italicized. So you have to make sure you close it right at the spot you want to. Otherwise, you're in t the, rest of the, the rest of your message will have that uh, particular format. So let's go back to the code. And we'll end it. And then let's underline world. So you just need a U. And then we'll close it. Let's go ahead and run that. There you go. China's bold, 
largest is italicized, and then world is underlined. And it's as simple as that. Um, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.